Okay, so this tutorial is looking at EQ on a small analog live sound mixing console. This is a spirit mixing console by Soundcraft. Um, in previous tutorials we've looked at uh, the signal path, sound checking um, on microphone on this particular desk and its general structure um, and how it's built and what's going on on the desk. So specifically we're looking at the EQ section which are these uh, four pots here um, on every single channel. On this desk um, the pots uh, we have are high frequency which is for treble uh, and that essentially is just a volume control allowing you to turn the treble up, the high frequencies up, or to take them the other way to the left and to turn them down. In the middle you're doing absolutely nothing to the frequencies of the sound so that would be considered flat. Underneath the high frequencies we have mid frequencies and uh, these allow us to again as a volume control for turning up the mid frequencies or turning them down and we have this additional pot here the black one um, and that allows you to select which frequency it is you're turning up or turning down so it gives the engineer a bit more flexibility over what what it is they're turning up and turning down and finally we've got low frequency bass up and down in volume as well um, in addition to the pots that we have we also have a switch just under the gain uh, control on each channel and it says 100 hertz and has uh, um, a kind of a sloping icon above it that there is uh, what's called a high pass filter and um, it passes through high frequencies and chops off or cuts off the low frequencies uh, a low cut if you like sometimes it's just called a low cut um, and that will be used for um, microphones that are used to mic up things that don't really have a lot of bass content in them they can brighten up the sound it can get rid of rumbling sounds going through the uh, mic stands and up into microphones um, it can eliminate things like earth loops 50 hertz um, hums and things like that uh, so it's really just for cleaning up the signal before it passes through the rest of the EQ section and um, the rest of the, the channel. So definitely I would advise putting that on for things like a vocal which doesn't have a lot of uh, anything below 100 hertz in it anyway. So let's take that out um, have a quick uh, listen to this particular microphone that we have going in on this uh, channel, channel number 14. Um, if I boost up the high frequencies you should hopefully hear the voice getting uh, slightly more tinny or trebly one two 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 one two three one two so that's boosting uh, high frequencies up by 15 decibels if I take it the other way one two one two one two you'll see that the voice becomes less intelligible and we're rolling off the, the trebly and tinniness to it I'll put that back center again for that mid-range frequencies so the mid-range frequencies sweep from 240 hertz up to 6 kilohertz. So that's the band of frequencies we can select. Um, <coughs> so I'm going to start off by turning up the, uh, the volume slightly of the mid-range frequencies. And you can hear that it starts to become 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, true, 1, 2, 1. Slightly kind of boxy sounding, a little bit of feedback coming through there. And now I'm going to sweep through the frequencies and you'll hear a filtering uh, sort of effect as I'm selecting different frequencies and they are being boosted. 2121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121212121
show you how you can pinpoint where that frequency is and then you can uh, remove it from the sound. So the easiest way of doing this is uh, making sure you've got a bit of signal level going through. Boost up the volume, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So you can hear that as I'm sweeping here. One, two, two. So you sweep, um, a bit like tuning in a radio, sweep the sweep until you find where the feedback is really prominent with a bit of boost and then just take it the other way and take it out. So now we can drive the uh, PA system louder, one, two, without there being any feedback. Okay, so quick tutorial then on EQ there, um, hopefully that gives you an overview of a very simple three band uh, parametric EQ. Um, obviously on a larger mixing desk you may have more bands to deal with, uh, maybe a low mid and a high mid, it may split the mids up into four bands. Um, it may give you some additional sweeps on low frequencies as well, uh, so you may end up with uh, more options available, but it's essentially the same thing on, uh, on every analogue mixing console.